Hi, thanks for being here. I'm Pepper J, and you're joining me in my quest to get our music on the radio. I'm here with John Michael Ferrari, my singer-songwriter, ranger, performing singer-songwriter, and we have, this is our fifth update, I believe. So we have been now five weeks. We chose a song, So Beautiful. So Beautiful, there it is right there. This is, let me just see what I have here. Oh, I, I guess I don't have a, a well, I don't have a mouse. Oh, here is a mouse. Okay, that's so beautiful. That's what the logo looks like. So if you're looking at a rose, that a uh, picture that I took when I was in Los Angeles a long time ago. Uh, that's our song, So Beautiful, and we're trying to get it on the radio, and it's not easy. We have uh, a John Michael Ferrari, a relatively unknown songwriter and performer. He... Uh, well, he's known in certain areas of the country, you know, the Southeast, California, different places where he's performed over the years. But he's not nationally recognized. And we're not with any kind of major or any kind of record label. We have our own label. We call it Cappy Records. So getting this song on the radio is, uh, it's a challenge. So basically, uh, the answer is we have slowly, been crawling up some of the charts and I'm going to share that with you today. I signed up with a music picture of music, no it's called a radio promoter and that radio promoter is called Logins Promotion and they pitch to digital radio mostly. So here's kind of what I learned recently, you probably already know this, but radio stations, like the kind that we're used to, radio stations that aren't on the internet, they call them terrestrial, as opposed to extraterrestrial, I'm not sure, but they're divided into five categories as far as the songwriter is concerned. One, two, three, four, five. And the bottom is the lowest, and if you get your song played on the bottom radio station, then, what do you get, $1.47? Uh, five dollars. and 47 cents. Yeah. For a play, for a spin. right? For a spin, it's called spin. And then when you get up at the top one, which is a five, which has the largest uh, audience, how much is that? Twenty-seven dollars. No wonder some of these music people are really, really rich. So that's that. Now, digital radio is sort of like the same thing, and I'm not sure exactly how it's divided up, but it's a hierarchy. And some of the places where you play your song the songwriter will receive 0 .0031, so basically a third of a cent. And on some of the digital radio, you'll receive 0 .0091, so it's almost a cent. <laughs> and then, what did we just learn yesterday? So I was looking at, okay, so I'm not saying I really learned it. But I was looking at John's Reverb Nation page, John Michael Ferrari on Reverb Nation, and we put the songs that are out there on his Reverb Nation page, and we also put demos, things that we're working on, or, you know, thoughts of arrangements. They're, they've been copywritten, of course, always have your songs copywritten, but it's up there to get feedback and different things. And, and for the ones that I mark that they can sell, Oh, we're getting paid, but it wasn't like 0 .0091, it was like 0 .000. I mean, it's just like a hundredth of a cent or something. I'm learning about how you're getting paid for streaming and how you're getting paid for downloading. I'm talking really about the songwriter now. All right, so this came and we get every single week, mostly on Wednesdays, we get from Logins Promotion a list of all of the radio stations. Again, it's mostly digital. And I'm not saying where on the digital scope it is, but they're the digital radio. And they're from all over the world. As a matter of fact, as I'm going to explain in a moment, the song So Beautiful is very exciting to know that it was played in France, Belgium, the Netherlands. 
Great Britain, and Romania, and Romania. And it's so interesting, the radio station that it was played on in Romania called Flora TM is the top 40 radio station there. And I noticed that it uh, was picked up by Nielsen ratings. Nielsen, you've probably heard it, it's N-I-E-L-S-E-N. Nielsen measures audience, basically, for TV shows, for music, for all different things. And it m measures, because each song has a UPC, a Uniform Product Code. And then, uh, I guess the albums also have the IR, Okay, never mind, I'm not going to say that because I don't remember what the acronym is. So this is what we get every week, the list of what the radio stations are. And some of them says that they're playing. Some of them says they left a message. Some of them says they were reviewing. And, and that's actually quite, quite exciting. So there are different kinds of charts. And a New Music Weekly, has charts for country digital, country radio, where it's not digital, uh, AC, which is adult contemporary, and then it has a hot 100 chart for AC and top 40 together, but they take out country. Also, I want to explain that some of the charts that John Michael Ferrari is on for So Beautiful are charts where he's competing with the major record lab labels. So he's lower on the chart with a higher number. Okay. Some of the charts that So Beautiful is on, they're for just indie people. And so he's higher on the chart with a lower number. So I'll explain that in a minute. So this is the country digital chart. And if we go down, we'll see that John Michael Ferrari moved from 34 to 29, and today he's at 27 on the chart. And this is a chart where they compare it to everybody, all the majors. So on this chart is uh, Kenny Chesney, you know, I don't read so well from here, Keith Urban, um, just all sorts of people here, Luke, Luke Bryan, everybody, Tim McGraw, Brad Paisley, a lot of men, where are the women? Anyway, so just a side note. And so that's what that's about. And then if we go down, so he is on 27. So we go down to the indie music, singles chart for Country Digital on New Music Weekly. He's higher on the chart. He's actually moved from 16 last week to 14. So he's number 14 on the indie music chart. So what does that mean? That means that he had 271 spins or plays in seven days on digital country. And then they tell you that it's a 13% increase. So we had 271, we had 239 last week and the week before we had 208. And just to give you an idea, okay, so we have 271 spins at the very top of the indie chart is Catherine Altsmere. He, she had 525 spins, okay? So that's kind of what that looks like. So when we go to the chart where it's the real digital chart and we're dealing with everybody, like here's up here, Kenny Chase, and you've got 414 spins that week on that particular song. Of course, he's got a lot of things going out there, which is uh, really cool for him. And, oh, you know, so I had uh, my family visit from New York, see my grandchildren, very nice. And my son, who's very been in the, uh, John Palacio, he's been in the entertainment industry for a long time. He says, well, I'm seeing all these charts and I see Kathy, C-A-P-P-Y. And I said, well, that's the name of our label, Kathy Records. It's an independent label. And she, he says, well, where's your website? So, just to let you know, and I don't have it up here. Oh, maybe I can try to find it. Uh, Cappy Records is now a website, C-A-P-P-Y-R-E-C-O-R-D-S dot com. So thank you to my son. Stop. Okay, so obviously it's still in production. Ha! 
It's not up for public consumption yet, but I'm going to have uh, Cappy Records. So the other thing is, is there's AC. That's Adult Contemporary. This is also the New Music Weekly. Uh, last week, So Beautiful uh, just arrived on the AC chart at the bottom of the chart at number 40. But the real chart, not like an up and coming or something like chart. And this week we moved up to 35. So we had 191 spins on the AC or the adult contemporary radio that this particular New Music Weekly uh, monitors and follows. So that's very cool. Uh, the Jonas Brothers are right below us at uh, 176 spins. And the Harry Styles is above us with Watermelon Sugar. And just to get an idea, the very top of the chart, AC, there's Billy Eilish with 543. Ooh, she's doing well. And Joe Taylor with 524. So, but we're really happy with our 191 spins and to be on the chart. That's real nice. Now, again, they also do an independent. So when we are on the independent or for the indie music for AC, then we have moved up. We're all the way at number 13. Last week, we were at number 16 compared just with the other indies. So that's really cool. I thought that, that that's very nice. And then there's a chart called the Hot 100. When we first came on to the Hot 100 chart, we were on 98. And then we moved up to 79, then to 68. And so July 3rd, 2020, we moved up to number 62. There we are. Oh, we're almost above the fold. For you guys that are baby boomers, you know what I'm talking about. It's like in the newspaper, you know, when newspapers folded. And if you have a story or a headline that's above the fold, that means a whole lot. If it's below the fold, hardly anybody sees it unless they pick up the newspaper and open it up. So we're almost above the fold. We have 216 spins this week. We're up 22%. That was up from 176 last week. and. 135 the week before. So that's really sort of amazing that uh, we're on the hot. Now, let me explain what this is. They take out the country. So this is top 40 plus AC, um, adult contemporary. And so that's what this one is all about. Now, the one that we're really trying to get on, and we have not gotten there yet, this is country radio. This is like regular, regular country radio. We still have not hit the country radio chart. But uh, the way that uh, the way that New Music Weekly sets it up is they have the chart, and then below that they have chart bound. These are the ones that they think really with just a couple more spins they might get on the chart. And then below that is up and coming. We are on the up and coming chart. And we are number one. We're at the top of the up and coming chart. So that's really, really, really cool. It's for So Beautiful, John Michael Ferrari with 80 spins. This is 80 spins on Real Country Radio. We're up 6.7%. We had 75 spins last week. And actually, we had 75 spins a lot the week before, if I remember. Now, just to put this all in perspective, OK? So we had 80 spins. If you go down to the bottom, of the country chart, that's 115 spins. If we go to the very top and see Lee Sims, she, he's got 40, 444 spins. All right. So there, Miranda Lambert had 437 this uh, week. Tim McGraw had 362. Now, that's only the country radio, and it's only the country radio that this particular, it's called pin, Spins Tracking System. Those are the ones that they follow. So that's kind of interesting. Now, last two weeks, we were not on the radio hit list. <laughs> There's a national radio hits chart, and we haven't been on it yet. But Joe Taylor is at the top. There's Will, Billy Vera, Demi Lovato. Everybody's got Jonas Brothers, Kelly Clarkson, Kerry, Kelly, per 
Carrie, Katy Perry, everybody's got songs that they want and to do. And by the way, the very bottom of this chart is 1,571 spins. That's real far from where we are. That's the very bottom of the chart, okay? But they go down and they have something called Next Up. We are actually down here at number eight, So Beautiful by John Michael Ferrari as the independent, the only independent, by the way, <laughs> out of these 10 that uh, are on the Next Up chart. It's very difficult because if you don't have a major label, you don't have the bleh, a major label, you don't have the money behind you, and you know, we're not financially able to put forty, fifty thousand dollars on, you know, putting a single out there and stuff, and you don't have the contacts, you know, the networking of the DJs and, and the people that, so we're thrilled to be at number eight, and this tells us that the radio stations that this particular chart monitors, National Radio Hits, tells us that we had 929 spins this last week for So Beautiful. That's a lot of spins. Mm -hmm. That's really exciting. And then it tells us that that's 15 more spins that we had last week. I think last week was the first time that we showed up on the national radio spins. So that's kind of interesting. Now, let's talk about Top 40 Radio. I'm not sure what Top 40 is, but I learned how it came about. And I've been doing music for now, well, over 30 years. And Top 40 is that the, was the record companies or the record executives used to go to like nightclubs and go to the jukebox and to see what the people were playing. Well, the jukebox at that time only had 40 slots. So that's how it ended up being called the Top 40. So Top 40, 40 is not a particular genre. Top 40 is across genres as to who's picked up. And we, for So Beautiful, on the Top 40, we're not on that chart. We've never been on that chart. <laughs> That's just to be clear on that, okay? But, and they have an up and coming chart and there's where we are on the up and coming chart. Cappy Records, so beautiful. We had 25 spins that they picked up. So how could we have 929 spins and then we have 25 spins? Each chart focuses on different radio stations. So remember at the beginning when I said one, two, three, four, five at the level and the credit or the cred, credibility of the different radio stations? And so, like I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, I don't, I'm <laughs> just learning, just learning. But in any event, out of those 929, or it could have been more, anyway, but out of whatever amount of spins So Beautiful had last week, this particular chart picked up 25 of them that put us in the up and coming. So for me, that was, that was very, very cool for me. And so just to give you an idea, on the top 40, there's Justin Bieber with Quavo, and their song is Intentions. And he had this week with that song 1,422. 1,422, 25. 1,422, 25. That's okay. We're on the chart, and I'm real excited about it. But, uh, and there's Ariana Grande. She had 954 this week with Stuck With You. I'm just to give you an idea, because I think I find it interesting. Daisies by Katy Perry. Uh, this, pick, this chart picked up 764. So we had, uh, oh, and our friend Joe Taylor, he came up on number 39 on top four. That's amazing, because he's an independent. Um, and I think there were, when I counted, I was very surprised to find five independent songs on the top 40. That's a lot. So I think, or I hope that means that without money, without knowing anybody, without having a recognizable songwriter or artist, that if the song, people like it, and it gets lucky to be in certain things, then it will 
it will happen for us. So, um, and last week I mentioned that though, oh, I think I mentioned that we were in Europe. That's very exciting. I went to Nielsen and it showed the Romania station. I was very excited. But you know, I'm, I'm not sad, but just like a kid at Christmas and there's presents and you can't open them up. A lot of these reports are delayed. So remember I told you that you get $5.47 if your song is played on this type of radio or something like that. So I went to John Michael Ferrari's ASCAP. So there's, it's called a performing rights organization. And there are a couple of them, BMI, ASCAP, um, and uh, they're the ones that are responsible basically for getting the songwriter money when people perform their songs, people play their songs, people buy their songs, people download their songs. That, but it's delayed. So I went to last year, I wanted to see what happened in July 2019, and when I read his numbers for July 2019, and that's stuff, you know, that you know, when you put your music out there, you get paid by Amazon Music, you get paid by YouTube, you get paid by Spotify, Reverb Nation, you know, not a lot of fortune at our level, but you still get something. But the disappointing part was it said that July 2019 was giving me a report and showing me my funds from the last quarter of 2018, September, October, November. No, the October, November, December of 2018. So I'm going to have to wait a while before some of these, uh, these numbers come back to me. So that's what that's about. The, uh, thank you for Facebook messengering me. That's really cool. And, and, and what's interesting, it is a lot of you that are sending me messages you know so much more than I do, and I'm learning from you, and I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the advice and, and or where to look. But a couple of you, three of you, asked what you could do to help. Well, I'm going to tell you what you could do to help. <laughs> but yeah, I never said this before. But wherever you are located, call your local radio station that's either a country station or an adult contemporary station, because that's really where So Beautiful fits. And please, ask them to play so Beautiful by John Michael Ferrari. Uh, there are a lot of songs named So Beautiful, so you have to remember John Michael Ferrari. And um, this is our album, Be the Smile on Your Face. That's Ozzy, my goat. Hello, baby. So cute. And then our song, So Beautiful, is one of this is the single really off that album that we uh, put out before that happened. So that's what you can do to help. You can call. You can subscribe. Oh, you can please subscribe. You don't have to subscribe to me. Well, Pepper J, that's where these are located. Pepper J, I only have 26 subscribers. So I've never said anything to anybody, but you can subscribe to me. Yay. Um, but John Michael Ferrari, subscribe. He has several, three YouTube channels. John Michael Ferrari topic was put on by our distributor, TuneCore. Oh, by the way, here's another reason you can help me. So TuneCore put up this YouTube for John Michael Ferrari, and it has a picture on it, a little picture, you know how it has on YouTube, and it changes all the time. But the big banner is just orange. And I contacted YouTube, and I said, can I give you something to replace for that banner? And they said, no, 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 that's TuneCore has to do that. They're the ones that put that up. So I called TuneCore and they said, oh, no, 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 that, that's what YouTube. So if you have any idea on how I can change the banner to something that's more for him, that would be really, really cool. I'd appreciate that. That would be amazing. Uh, this Monday, July 6, at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time, please take a look at KBLP 105.1 FM. It's an Oklahoma country radio station, and they're interviewing Johnny. Actually, they were going to interview John Michael last Monday, but they had an electrical storm, Oklahoma. Yeah, but they've been very nice, and um, that's my story. So Beautiful is slowly 
but diligently so far going up the charts. <sighs> I'm very excited and um, thank you for listening. I'm Pepper J. Take care.